Well, Lesotho is heading for the polls tomorrow, two years ahead of schedule, under a political deal brokered by South Africa. Campaigning has largely been peaceful, but tensions are high before the parliamentary vote that will pit Prime Minister Tom Tabani's all Basutu convention against Motechwa Matsing's Lesotho Congress for Democracy. But uh, the SABC's contributing editor, Vuyom Voko, joins us now from the capital, Masero. Were your significant elections for the Basutu tomorrow? Analysts saying that these early stage ele elections should restore order to the kingdom, but Vuyo, will they change the country's political climate? Well, at the moment, nothing extraordinary. It's pretty much a continuation of what we've seen over the past uh, couple of months. Remember, SADC has been very much involved in this process. They have really tried their best to make sure that the anger is contained, that the rivalry between and among the political parties doesn't spiral out of, a control, out of control to a point where Basutu will feel that they cannot and will not have a free and fair election. Now, everybody who has been here would deploy it, like the observer missions from the Commonwealth, from the African Union, from SADC itself, have actually been singing praises, um, saying the political parties have really conducted themselves very well up until now, notwithstanding those tensions, but also that uh, the Electoral Commission has been trying its best not to make incredible demands that would start uh, sort of planting seeds of doubt as to whether this election can indeed go ahead freely and fairly with a credible outcome. But also civil society groups, the churches, as well as NGOs, have been working with communities on the ground to ensure that there are no, there's no unnecessary wiping of, uh, you know, fears, and uh, but also there are no re unrealistic expectations. So considering what people have done what everyone has put into this election there is nothing extraordinary nothing untoward i mean this morning the african union head i mean the head of the african union's uh, observer mission here uh, former kenyan prime minister raila odinga issued a report and then again had some comments to make about virtually anything and everything there is to talk about in this election and they are all convinced that uh, this election will go ahead freely and fairly unless of course at the last minute um, there's someone who does some stupid extraordinary um, things uh, that were not uh, uh, contemplated but as things stand they have put everything in place including dealing with the security issues remember the background to this election is that you have security forces that tend to go with political parties and political principles um, um, the defense force has been put in the barracks to make sure that they don't come out. Each and every soldier, we are told, has been accounted for. Each and every weapon will be accounted for. And those of them will have to uh, transport ballots or move uh, IEC personnel around. Those are under the strict supervision of SADC security forces from South Africa, from um, uh, Swaziland, from <coughs> Zimbabwe, and so on. So everything is being taken taken care of to make sure that this election goes smoothly tomorrow. Vuyo, thank you very much. Vuyo Mboko live from Maseru, head of Lesotho's elections tomorrow.